We're going to take a look at Ken Hinckley's comments afterwards and then uh, David King's uh, comments last night on Fox Footy about Kane Corns' role or otherwise. Some part of it's really annoying me about the way people are treating him. I'm talking about people who write stories every week, talk stories every week, and I'm talking about the treatment that they gave him at times tonight. It's 19. Stop treating him like he's 28 and treat the kid with some respect. And I tell you what, some people who put pressure on kids in this game need to have a good hard look at themselves. I mean, you've got to cut to the chase. Kane Corns put this on the radar with the rubbish about ice baths, that he was sacked from North Melbourne because of not taking an ice bath. And that flared the nostrils of the North Melbourne fans. It's, it's built a tension and a passion and a rage that wasn't really there. But the rage was started the moment hashtag ice bath was put out there. Mm. An extraordinary final quarter, by the way, by Jason Horn Francis. I think Ken was telling him he'd won the game for them, really. Uh, is that fair? Uh, that, uh, I don't know where that came from, from David King, but do, you, do Port think that you put this on the table? And is that who was, Ken was talking about, you? No, it wasn't. I, I, I found it bizarre, and I'm not going to apologise for fiercely defending a player who I see to be a future superstar of the game. I've got to know him a little bit. They're wrapped with the role that he's playing for them and what a teammate he's been around the footy club. And it, oh, I've spoken to the club a couple of times over it. I, I find it bizarre, and they just wanted it known that the comments were largely directed at David King and others at Fox Footy for comments that he's made such as this. They've got a massive issue with the number one pick. He, 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 is, he is playing his own game at the moment. Yeah, no, he, he needs to pull his head in. It's as simple as that. Horn Francis is close to 100th. Rosie's at AFL 80th. If this team is to be what we think it can be, they can't be also runs in the midfield. And then we'll see some of the media headlines that have done the rounds. This is either prior or after he's left North Melbourne. The vitriol wasn't started with a hashtag that has influenced clubs, supporters from other than North Melbourne. And there's Cam Zerhars cracking his teammate. This is way before any talk of ice bars. So I found it bizarre. I'm not ever going to apologise for fiercely depend defending a player uh, who is going to be a star. And I think North Melbourne completely botched their role in developing him at the club next year. And you, I reckon you work I re with David King. Yeah, no, you work I, with him last Friday. You work no, with him we again have, we next have a, Friday. We have a good relationship. I was, I was surprised by it. I'm not going to take it personally. Have but you spoken to him no, about I his haven't. comments? No, I haven't. I, I, I've spoken to the club, though, and they just wanted it known that Ken's comments were largely directed at David King and others at Fox 40. And... Lastly, I would say, I think Jason Lawton Francis made an excellent decision. Like, he's clearly happy, he's around friends and family, and if you've watched any of North Melbourne play, particularly on the weekend, where they were essentially witches' hats, he's pretty happy to be playing in Does big David games. Does David owe you an apology? Um, no, it's, we're all big, aren't we? I mean, we've had, we've had uh, ins and outs before and, and arguments before, and we'll, we'll have it out on radio um, again on Friday, um, but I, I did think he threw me under the bus with that, because he clearly knows Ken's comments weren't directed at me. You guys will work through that and you both got strong opinions. I just, not me, the critics would say that you're both um, too parochial to your own club's view. The critics would say that uh, David King is too sympathetic to North Melbourne's spot position and that you are too slanted by what Port Adelaide would have to say. And does that make this very complicated to have a objective view? Yeah, a little bit. I, th I think uh, in the past, you know, and, and at times when I feel it's justified, I've been critical of Port Adelaide. That's for others to judge. I love the footy club. Um, I love Ken Hinckley, the coach. My brother works there. I grew up there from 17 to 32. So I, I've got so much admiration and respect for that footy club. So, of course, you love the place. And if that means you're a little bit slanted to the positive, then I'll cop that. Just on that, though, from what Dave had to say about Jason Horn France, is Ken being too sensitive around uh, what David's saying about a, a yep. young 19-year-old in that sense? So what I would say is he's 19, mm. he's a professional athlete, yeah. he's paid well, and he's going to be criticised mm. in public life. And yeah. it, I know that sounds insensitive. Not the first coach to defend his yeah. player, though. No, it's great. I thought does. it was really weird that the Collingwood players booed him. Craig Mc... uh, fans booed him. Craig McRae didn't like it. Mm. And I thought it was really weird that he was booed Western by... Bulldogs. Well, I don't know if they were Western Bulldogs fans on Saturday night, but... I've got a thing about booing ever since Adam Good. Yeah. And just on you, Kane, would you, would you feel like with, say, the banter you have about mm. Jason Horn Francis on Twitter and things like that, that you'll pull back now because you no. feel it gets people going and keeps the situation of yeah. Jason being in the you, news? Yeah, well, you, if, you should. If he asked me to do that, I would. Um, last time I, I checked, I was presenting him with his number 18 Guernsey yeah. and we've got a really good relationship. And I think his form has been excellent and they love him as a teammate as I've said repeatedly on this show from day one so 
Uh, what I don't want is people such as David King, who now says he's going to be a superstar. You, you weren't with him from the start and you were questioning his defensive staff, as many others were. Don't then flip it around when you see what a player he can be, like he was in the last quarter, and tell me how good he's going to be. Because you weren't there and you were pretty, be the first pretty, to change his pretty mind. quick to be critical.